Bassett's e-depreciation, asset property class, simplify and ensure accurate data entry. IRS Publication 946 explains the use of depreciation to recover the cost of business or income producing property. One of the key elements in determining the correct annual depreciation amount is selecting the appropriate property class that is listed in Appendix B of this publication to get the correct recovery periods for both general depreciation and the alternative depreciation system. Let's take a look at the asset class form. This feature of Bassett's e-depreciation provides a simple lookup for the IRS property classes. You can scroll up and down the list to see all of the available asset classes. As you select a class, the associated controls will reflect the current values for recovery periods, methods, and first-year conventions. This is much easier than doing a manual lookup in the IRS publication. The selected asset class can then be linked to the appropriate asset GL code in your general ledger structure. This ensures that every asset with this asset GL will consistently apply the same depreciation. When you create a new asset, e-depreciation combines this functionality with our business rules that result in intelligent data entry. You must enter a minimum of four critical pieces of information. Description, purchase price, acquisition date, and asset GL. Bassett e-depreciation uses this information to determine the accurate values for property type, listed property, depreciation method, first year convention, and recovery periods. As you can see, a click of the recalculate button displays the current period depreciation amount. By utilizing the IRS property classes, we can greatly simplify data entry while also ensuring accurate and consistent tax depreciation information. If you have any questions or would like to see a full demonstration of e-depreciation, go to bassets.net and click on the Contact Us link.